Welcome back and following up for you tonight. Decisions today on two master plans needing the approval of the Colorado Springs Parks Board. One has to do with the controversial Strawberry Hill land swap between the city and the Broadmoor. The other is the master plan for the adjoining North Cheyenne Canyon Park. Bill Folsom sat in on that meeting today. He's in studio tonight. More on these very critical votes, Bill. Yeah, the planning, it has been coming together for years. Then there's been months of public comment and amendments. Both of those uh, plans have passed today, but not before hours of debate. North Cheyenne Canyon Park and right next to it, Strawberry Hill. Natural beauty at the core of some not so pretty discussion. The mess with strawberry fields has poisoned the water. A major portion of comments on the Strawberry Hill plan came from members of the group Save Cheyenne Canyon which formed to fight the land swap between the Broadmoor and the city. Their opposition carries to the master plan process with one part they do like. Something that we have long advocated, they approved it with the condition that no ground be broken until our legal challenge to the land exchange has run its full course in the Colorado Supreme Court. On both master plans, Parks Board members say they tried to remain focused on their purpose. That does not include past controversies and court cases. We have some modifications to that that we would like to present today. Instead, they evaluated the merits of the plan for the community as a whole. So that we are not only moving things forward and making sure that we have plans for the future, but also honoring what citizens are requesting. Many of the people speaking against the Strawberry Hill plan also voiced opposition to the North Cheyenne Canyon plan. On this one, however, they wanted modifications. The main concerns had to do with parking, traffic, and enforcement. Safety, fire safety, personal safety. And there was an interesting recurring element today we may see in other public land debates. Many people saying we need to quit marketing places like Cheyenne Canyon to tourists. They say it gets so crowded tourists leave no room for the locals to enjoy what they pay for.